There are very few manufacturing processes that can come close to this. It's just absolutely a breakthrough. You know, this is inventing something new. It's an incredible step forward to be able to 3D print on your desk a part that's as strong as metal. We invented this new machine, uh, and it's awesome. We have a 3D printer that can print carbon fiber. We've got long, continuous strands of carbon in this new material that enables you to 3D print carbon parts. This is a significant advancement in material science. For the first time, you can 3D print a part that is as strong or even stronger than metal. Carbon fiber is used to make anything that's awesome. It's the lightest, strongest material in the world. What we've done is we've made it so that you can now start to take this kind of wonder material and build things out of it that are not as expensive. To actually design something in the moment and create it and put it to use is a very, very powerful thing. So people have been trying to do this for uh, at least 18 years. I thought he was crazy. I thought he was frankly quite crazy. Greg sat me down and he said, David, I have this really cool idea. Uh, I think it's going to change the world. There's a lot between an idea and a product. That gap is filled by a team. We got a whole bunch of mechanical engineers to make the printer. We have Tony to make the plastics work. David is our computer science guy. Jeff is our creative director. He's in charge of uh, what he would say is art, marketing, and sexiness. We had to do two new things. We had to make this new material, and then we had to make the machine that then printed it. Instead of just printing plastic, we reinforced the plastic with carbon fiber and make it 10 times stronger than plastic had ever been before. So we knew we had something special the first time we pulled the part off the print bed and you went to bend it, and instead of feeling like plastic and just giving, it had the resistance and stiffness of carbon fiber. Here's the technology that can give you something better than the best metals. The 3D printer completes the process of having an idea designing it in the computer, and then making it out of a printer. You don't need all this complicated, large, expensive equipment. It's something that just sits on your desk. It's really liberating to be able to have that concept and have it in a part right in front of you. Being able to design, build, and iterate in a very, very small design cycle. They can make products faster than ever before, and they can design entirely new kinds of parts that we've never imagined before. This machine is really made for those people that want to design a part and want to create things that they want to use. As long as either you can design a part or you have access to somebody who can design the part, you hit print, you have the part. People will be doing all sorts of things with it. Experimental aviation. Race cars. Motorcycle parts. And robots. Prosthetics. Maybe take it to space. Finished parts that can go into turbines, that can go into car wings, that can go into rotor blades. That you're no longer focused on the world of 3D printing, you're focused on the printing of the world. Greg had an idea, and this is an idea that will then give other people ideas, and on those ideas they can build products and companies and businesses and livelihoods and change the world. We've now enabled you to print carbon fiber, and God knows what you're going to do with it.